Okay, she likes it. Yeah, Miami. Yes? Say yes. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our vlog. So today is we are going to cook again. So it's been a while since we had a cooking recipe here. It's mostly traveling. So today I'm going to feature um, the brand Good and Gather that I recently got from Target. It's a, a kit, a recipe kit where all you needed, all the ingredients you needed is included on that kit. So it's very convenient for us if you don't know what's for lunch, what's for dinner, or if you have friends coming over, what to feed them instead of buying from restaurant. And this one you can make your own and it's ready in less than 20 minutes. And also it costs like less than $20. So check it out. All right, so this is the one that I got from Target recently. So there you go. The, the brand is, um, it says dinner in minutes and it's ready to cook for 15 minutes and it serves three people, maybe more. And um, it's the Good and Gather brand. Okay, so I, I have this, the kit. It's actually a kit in front of me. It comes on a different recipe, um, different pasta recipe. They have a rice recipe as well with a meat on it. They have macaroni and cheese recipe. But this one that I chose, um, this is a Italian chicken sausage rigatoni. So it means it comes on a kit, so everything you needed are included on this kit. And the whole kit costs like $14.99, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it varies, the price varies on what recipe you're gonna pick, but I'm telling you it's less than $20. So let's open the kit. First, they have this mozzarella, uh, mozzarella cheese, caprice, for, or no, actually there's a recipe at the back. Aside from that, they have, of course, the rigatoni pasta. So it's the same brand. It's the Good and the Gather brand. The next one is, of course, their tomato and basil pasta. And then, let's see what else. And the last one they have in here is, of course, their Italian smoked chicken sausage. There you go. So we'll see. So there is an instruction at the back portion. So I'll read it real quick. First is to cook the pasta, of course, and next um, put salt to taste. And then um, the pasta cooks, you're gonna do the sausage, and then you're gonna put the sauce, three to five minutes, and then there you go. You can um, put the cheese on top and serve it. So we'll do it now. All right, so I have a boiling water in here and we're gonna put the rigatoni pasta. Of course, I put um, oil and salt in there and then we're gonna cook the pasta for 10 minutes. Pasta is cooked and drained. So you can add butter as desired. So normally I add butter to the pasta to avoid sticking to each other and make it tastier and of course you know it won't gonna be too dry so it's you know it's just an option next is um, we're going to put an olive oil um, it whatever oil you like so I preferred olive oil for pasta and we're going to simmer the, the sausage so I already added the um, the Italian sausage so you slice it into thin ones and you just fry it until it's a little little brown all right another part of the recipe is I'm going to add um, meatballs so I slice the meatballs into two it's not part of the kit but I just want more meat on it that's why I will going to add and saute it with the Italian sausages Everything looks good and brown. Then last one, we're going to add um, the their um, tomato and basil pasta sauce. So it looks like yummy. It says Italian, um, imported from Italy. So mix, mix. 
sure you put it on a low heat and mix it all together. And add salt and pepper to taste if you like. And then let it simmer for a few minutes. All right, after a few minutes, um, not even two minutes, we are going to add the pasta to the sauce. Well, you kind of like estimate how much pasta you're gonna put on the sauce because you don't wanna make it too dry or if you want a little, if you want it saucy. So it's up to you how much pasta you want to be on, on the sauce. Okay, so I put like kind of like a little more than half of the pasta and mix it all together. There you go. And of course, you're gonna put the cheese on top as the last ingredient we need. Go, just mix it well. Go, see how it tastes like. Go, I'll put a little parsley and salt and pepper. And the last recipe is the mozzarella cheese. Of course, you're gonna put it on the top of the pasta. There you go. All right, so look how beautiful when you mix it. Actually, the mozzarella is kinda like sticking and you know, there you go. See all the cheese? That cheese is beautiful. And we're gonna give it a try. And she's trying the pasta. How is it? Mm, it's good. It's like <laughs> Italian cuisine. <laughs> Italian cuisine from Target. It's really good. So it's very quick and easy. It's very yummy. Mmm. Perfect for visitors, perfect for kids, perfect for in-laws. So try this one, it's really, really good and worth it. For $15, you are gonna regret it. Especially for you guys who don't know really, you don't really know how to cook. You can try this one as a starter recipe. And that's it, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a good day and have a wonderful day, bye. Okay, she likes it. Yeah, Miami. Yes? Say yes. Mommy.